what's up y'all um some video that man i stopped like in the middle of a couple of videos but i'm doing this one because i'm very disappointed uh i've watched every season of game of thrones so to see this box is just like wow you know what this is going to be awesome right and that's the feeling that i should have now obviously it was postponed for a year because production on Game of Thrones was pushed back. So it's the old Ultra Boost. And um, we know that the Ultra Boost 2019 is out. Now, I wrote an article on the site about this pack. And in that article, I expressed wholeheartedly how frustrated I was with the presentation of the shoe and the fact that they used the, t the, the first model of the Ultra Boost. And this is, I've seen it in the store. I have it now. I want to show my son the shoe. And I know you guys are like, get to the shoe. Um, it's the Ultra Boost times Game of Thrones, right? Style code is EE3708. I haven't even showed you what version it is. But you saw it in the description already, so you know. But the uh, UPC for the size 8 is um, 192-611-336-101. And the SRP is $180, which is I still say it's overpriced. And I know it's... Prime Net and Boost, and it has a lot of Boost, and it's very, it feels great. I know that. But, one, this is very poorly executed, man. Now, if you ask me in regard to the actual show, I love the box. It's a better box than Adidas typically makes. It's very sturdy. Slides out easily, and slides back in easily. And a lot of times when we have these slide-out trays, they don't do that. Um, you see the paper and still your excitement has got to be there because you're like, yo, Game of Thrones. And you know how exciting this season has been so far. You get to it and you're like, man. I'm pulling this out and I'm hoping that there's like something extra in here like a paper or a sticker or there's something that's going to show me just the general kind of dopeness of Game of Thrones and I'm supposed to be excited and instead I got this I got this I got I got this and this whack and I'm mad and I'm like yo I want to be excited this shoe is supposed to be for the White Walkers It's like for the old walkers. And I mean, I know that it, it was a letdown to see the Night King catch it in the chest. Spoiler alert. That's not a spoiler alert. I just told you what happened. Um, if you didn't see it, sorry. If you're watching this, I should have put spoiler alert. I apologize. Anyway, White Walker. When I, I mean, okay. There goes your shoe insert or your, it's just... I wanted so much for this shoe, man. I mean, uh, you know. All right, in the episode and you saw it, you see that logo for the White Walker that's on the back of the tongue. It's barely noticeable. There's nothing really popping with this leather that's here at the front, the toe box. Inside of the prime knit, there's opportunity there. And you can't see the blue because the White Walkers have blue eyes. And the Night King has blue eyes in specific, uh, in particular. Um, the aglets... It has white and then walker on the other aglet. And then here at the hill, it says winter is here. This is supposed to be... Game of Thrones is an epic show. It's almost over. This shoe is selling in resale. It's doing pretty good. But... It's such a letdown, man. And I don't know about you. Maybe you feel like, yo, these things are great. I don't. I think it's such a wasted opportunity. And this just reminds me of why Nike is so good at what they do. And it's why everybody wanted Nike to have the Dragon Ball Z. And people that watch Game of Thrones probably wanted Nike to have Dragon, you know, Game of Thrones. Because... This ain't it. This ain't it, man. It's, it's pretty lame. 
But, I mean, yeah, does it look good? It does. It looks good. But it's supposed to be for the White Walkers. These dudes, you know, came through the wall and stormed all the way down and took out the Dothraki. Yeah, I know I'm not supposed to be giving you these spoiler alerts, but I don't even care because I'm so disappointed in the presentation of the show. And I'm going to wrap it up because I don't want to beat the shoe down, man. But this should have been so much better than it is. That's it. Um, see you guys on the next one. I didn't even do a whole lot of the explaining of what it was and anything else. I just vented over the fact that I'm upset about the shoes not being fresh. Or fresh as they could be. Crazy.